How's it going everyone? Kim Blatu here. So you're watching this video, it means that you want a video guide for the Hensel Reavers deck. So we're going to look at, you know, what cards are in there, why they're in there, maybe what you could change them for. And then we're going to look at some gameplay videos. So specifically, I'm going to put one in at least, which shows you how to beat this deck. So if you're playing against someone who plays this type of deck, this is how you beat them. And then I'll go into another video showing you just the power of the deck. Okay, let's get started. How's it going everyone? Welcome to the Hensalt Reavers deck. We're going to be using Hensalt, which is a very strong leader. It's almost all copies of a bronze ally from your deck. So this is like uh, the old reinforcement with two added strength. We're going to be saving Hensalt absolutely until the final round. This is part of your big wombo combo at the end of the game that secures you the win. You have a Reaver Hunter on the board. You summon all copies of it from your deck. And you can get a swing of about 90 strength, which is huge. So you've got to save him till the end of the game. The next thing is Reaver Hunters. These are very important cards in this deck. Very strong, six strength bronzes. I think they they might get a nerf in the future, to be honest. But for now, they have the bond ability, and this will activate whenever another Reaver Hunter is played anywhere on your side of the board. Doesn't have to be on the same row at all. Boost all copies of this unit by one wherever they are. So you've got a Reaver Hunter on the board. He's six. When you play another one anywhere on the board, they will boost. All copies of the unit by one but what's really important to note is that both reaver hunters will do this so they'll go up to eight each okay so just be aware of that it it does go up quite a bit more than you might expect they also have a trio ability which means they do have to be placed on the same row you need three of them damage the highest enemy by half its power rounding down and ignoring armor so that's a really nice strong ability if someone is stacking up loads of strength on one unit i generally don't tend to go for trios very much because, you know, it's massive Igni bait. But we do have one or two ways to um, stagger people's strength in this deck. So if I feel like I'm staggered and I'm safe, I could do a trio if I feel like it's important. So the next card is the Temerian Infantryman. This summons all copies of this unit from the deck when played. So it's just like an old muster ability. Uh, it's used for deck thing and a bit of extra strength. And you'll get, you'll get nine strength from this. But be aware that one is three strength. And so you will get a free Blue Stripes Commando. You'll get one of these because you only played one from your hand. So you'll get 12 strength on the board with this play, which is great. And ideally, I like to uh, stagger these as well. Okay. So they're, they're pretty decent and they're going to be used to thin the deck early on. Next, we have the Reaver Scouts. Now, these are going to be primarily used on the Reaver Hunters. Solely used on the Reaver Hunters, actually. Uh, just to make sure you get all the Reaver Hunters out in round one. You want to make sure that all of them are out in round one. Okay, you're going to use these to help that. Now, our first opening play here actually should be the Operator. You should get the Operator and copy a Reaver Hunter so you have four. This just really is the optimum amount. You don't really care for five. You get a bit of diminishing returns. Anyone who thinks that they should put in a Summoning Circle into this particular deck to try and get five Reaver Hunters... It's not really worth it in the end, so four is the optimum number. Three of them go back into your deck with Neneke, and then you shiny the fourth one out, and uh, you're good to go. So Operator definitely is very important. It's the first opening play, usually. Um, we've got the Alzor's Double Cross to kind of make that happen. We've even got Reinforcement, actually, as well. Play a unit from your deck and shuffle the others back. So if you don't have, have Alzor's Double Cross, Reinforcement was for Neneke. But you can use reinforcement on the operator to make sure you get it. And then later, if you do get Alzor's Double Cross, it will pull Neneke anyway. Okay, so um, you can use these in pretty much any order for the operator. And the other one will work well for Neneke afterwards, which is really good. So Neneke, if you don't know what she does, she shuffles up to three cards from your graveyard back into your deck. This is going to be used either in round three or in round two when you're stalling or whatever. Or if you're, if you're lost and you're just in round two and trying to win... You start using Neneke then, and you'll put three Reaver Hunters back into your deck ready for Hensout to pull out on round three. Right, we have a Field Medic, which, you know, a lot of people don't know how to use Field Medics too well. I'll just, I've only got one, and I'll just explain how it works. Be aware that it's three strength, along with Death Mold here, who's also three strength. So we will get a Blue Stripes Commando for playing either one of these two, which will be our second and final one. We could have put a third one in, but I find that I don't get Infantrymen, Medics, and Death Mold very often. So, and we're not going to get um, we're not going to get our trio very well. So, don't worry about that. So, the field medics target it shuffles a uh, shuffles a different bronze ally back into your deck. 
then play a random bronze unit from your deck. And it can be the one that you put back. So usually we'll either put back the Reaver Scout. Okay. And if you put back a Reaver Scout, you're either going to get a Reaver Hunter or a Reaver Scout. And if you get a Reaver Scout, then hopefully you can use it to pull a Reaver Hunter anyway. Okay. Now you're not going to get anything else. And the reason for that is, is it can only do bronzes. You've only got one field medic. Okay. And you won't have any of these left. You should have played all the infantrymen already. And you won't have any blue stripes because one will come out with the infantryman and one comes out with a medic. So the medic is really only ever going to pull a Reaver Scout or a Reaver Hunter. Okay. And you can use the field medic to move uh, a Reaver Hunter away, put it back into your deck. And then either you'll draw it again or you'll draw a Reaver Hunter and just move it out of the way of weather. That's a possibility for the medic. And also if someone throws a cow carcass at you, you could, you know, put it back into your deck and pull something else. And if you do pull the cow carcass, just throw it on the opponent's side. Death Mold is a great card. Loads of people love him. Uh, he's definitely good. These mages where I have a multitude of choice. Multitude of choice is great. Now, Clear Skies is a great option for anyone playing Ragnarok or Drought. I often find myself using Owls or Thunder to just remove things. Torrential Rain, I don't like the, the thought of getting less value uh, than an Owls or Thunder with it. If they clear it straight away, I probably would have only got two, though. So. No, but he is great. He's really, really good. Okay, we've got some clear skies here and an Owls of Thunder for just removal. We have Quen. So, one of the weaknesses of this deck is that your Reaver Hunters die in the third round. Quen is to help that a little bit. If you Operator these first, you get an extra bit of value with Quen because you'll get four Quens, which is really nice. And we spoke about these. Now, let's go on to... I'm going to skip that for a minute and we're going to go on to our Golds. Now, Shani, you need to keep to round three. Absolutely, along with Hensout. Um, either Shani or Royal Decree, if Shani's in your deck. Uh, you need to keep these. She is going to resurrect your Reaver Hunter. Unless you have a Reaver Hunter in your hand because the earlier rounds were, were easy. You have Shani, you resurrect Reaver Hunter, then Hensout all the rest out. Or you have a Reaver Hunter in your hand, then you don't necessarily need Shani. But she's great insurance in case they do remove a Reaver Hunter. You can just bring him back out. Kira Metz is another kind of magey card. She's got Thunderbolt, Epidemic, and Quen. Usually, Thunderbolt is the option. Uh, just get some excellent value on round one. I've had a good Epidemic before. You have to identify that very early, though, because a lot of your stuff is relatively low in strength. So it'll be, it'll be the opening plays that people play. Um, say if they play Kidwani Sergeant, and they buff things to four, and they get a, a Blue Stripes Commando, and they play another Kidwani Infantryman, and then they've got... Uh, loads of fives on the board, like four fives. You can just epidemic them all. Dandelion, he's a great card. He's going to be used to stagger. Um, you're going to want to stagger the infantryman poss possibly. You don't need to because it's not quenable, but it could be like igniable if they don't have a card first. I like to stagger one infantryman, one reaver hunter, and you know maybe either death mold or Neneke or something like that. Now be aware that Dandelion can be used to manipulate Alzor's double cross. So, say if you had to use, you didn't get the operator, say, and you want, you only had Alzor's double cross. Now, you could use Dandelion to, to buff Neneke up to 11, so that Alzor's double cross pulls her. Because if you didn't get the operator in round one, and you haven't got one of these in your hand, he's not useful anymore. Um, so, use, use him to manipulate, you know, either Neneke, or maybe you could manipulate a Reaver Hunter if you've got Alzor's double cross for that. Just, just be aware of that as an option. And finally, our fourth gold is Royal Decree. A lot of people don't really like this card, but I feel like since this deck is so um, reliant on key pieces like Neneke, Operator, Reaver Hunters, Shani, that Royal Decree just really helps you get Shani when you need it, which is so important in this deck. Okay, and finally, this card here, the Silver card, is it's the most exchangeable card in this in this deck. I like Decoy because it allows you to you know replay Death Mold or replay a Reaver Scout or you know, a cow carcass or something, you know. Um, it gives you a lot of options, but it's definitely one of the, the most exchangeable silvers in the deck. You can put what you want here most of the time. Um, I mean, I, I think you know, there's, a, there's an argument for putting Roach in there, which is reasonably good. Um, you could put the Last Wish in there just to make it a bit more consistent. I wouldn't put Summoning Circle, like I mentioned earlier, to get a, to get a fifth Reaver Hunter because it just has diminishing returns. But, uh, yeah, you could you could have a think and put whatever you want there to try and figure something out. But what's really important about exchanging this silver is that you don't go above seven. 
You don't want to mess around with Alzor's double cross's ability to pull Operator or Neneke. Okay? So make sure it's 7 or below if you choose to, a unit for that. And that is the deck. Now we're going to see um, some gameplay matches, specifically one where I lost, and you'll see why. And that is an inherent weakness of this, which is the Reaver Hunter dying in the third round, so you couldn't hence out him. Um, but then you'll see some more gameplay matches where you can sort of offset that a little bit with Quen, with Shani, and stuff like that. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. And uh, there is a full um, deck guide on Gwent Database for this written one if you want to watch that. So uh, thanks, guys. Queen's Guard are difficult. Not all battles need end in bloodshed. Men I've been thinking about putting Triss Butterfly attack! spell in here. Why are you not playing in ranked? I haven't unlocked ranked yet. I'm still... <laughs> I mean, I'm not level 6 or something. I need to be level 10. What? Oh, sorry, My level no 10. Not level 10. Oh, I don't have Devil's Oz Double Cross. Or Reinforcement, actually. They're easy to play, but not they're not easy to fight against, is what I'm saying. They're easy to play, but not to play against. So, so far in this uh, Reaver Hunter deck, we haven't, we haven't seen many Reaver... Now, we're not going to be able to operate them, which does mean a lot. Um, means that we're not going to have four. We're only going to have two, so our strength in the last round is diminished. Long live the Emperor! This is no time to whimper. You're gonna quit. There is no escape. As you command, Your Majesty. Semper Fi! I don't think I've got time to play Quen. I'm behind in tempo. I told you so, you idiot. This is no time to whimper. The common folk. I care for them. I told you so, you idiot. Don't recognize your old mates. I think that might pull a field medic. I think I've used all my other bronzes. Why didn't trigger trio? They are different. He's locked. It doesn't count if he's locked. Uh, Varu. Well, the trio specifies it. 
Trigger this ability when three unlocked copies of a unit are present on the same row. I wonder if he's got Vico Viros. That would ruin the strategy if he takes a Reaver Hunter. Hey, well not A actually. I haven't unlocked ranked yet, but if you're asking someone else, then fair enough. Don't make me laugh. Blind, greedy fool. I think we got this. I could, I should have used that actually. Do it next turn. I'm wondering if any bronzes in my deck are actually better than six strength, to be honest. I know I've got a field medic, so I don't know if I'll rejigger these or whether these are still better. We do have we do have a gold there though. Or two golds actually. One being Royal Decree. Thanks. Let it be so. I exist because Master Dehenna wills it so. Greetings. What is it? Tell me you jest. Wow. Okay. Wow, he can't reveal a unit in his hand. He doesn't have one. Oh, that mm. jammy gear. He's going to steal a river hunter, case. is he? I mean, he should do a river scout into a Vicovar if he has more. But we're broken. Should have used Neneke earlier. I guess that was a, a mistake from me. Mm, a highly curious case. You might steal another Reva medic and go for the. the you other one guy. of us or not? Yeah? Okay, we're cool. Greetings. We cool with it? What is it? Nasty wounds, those, but you'll live. One. Ooh. I play that one from Shani, does that count? I don't know. But just in case it does, we'll put that back. Although we could very well... Okay, we need a unit, so he has to place that. No, I don't. If he destroys the Reaver Scout when I place it down, then we're in trouble. It does have strength. Oh, clear sky. We're going to have to rejigger that. When that's not good. I'll be honest, I think I've lost. Because I've only got 3 1 there. It's going to gain 3 armor. He can do seven damage. I shall be your eyes, my lord. Oh, he may choose to do that. Hmm. Sure. Be glad. To. This is no time to whimper. Made a couple of key mistakes there. He can reveal seven. Unless he doesn't. I think it'd be silly not to. But it all depends on whether he removes the Reaver Hunter. Bollocks. I'll do as you ask. 
Yeah, that's, that's the seven, isn't it? Well, he's going for the back one. He's not going for the back one. Your one piece. Fight yeah, we fight. lost. We lost because of a, a couple of little things there. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to protect it anyway. Either way. Um... I feel like he got a bit lucky there, actually. I think it was just a bit of luck on his part. Fair enough. Humans have no place in Broccolon. You want peace? Fight for it. Quinn really worth it? It's decent to begin with. But we got out. Out blasted. But we got that and that, which is great. We do need Neneke, but we can wait for that. More to the point, what does Quinn do? Well, you put it on like uh, your Tamarian foot soldiers or your Eva scouts to try and help round one. You blind, greedy fool. So now you put Quinn on him and you get four ticks of Quinn. Well, he's got one too. You blind, greedy fool. Thanks. For you, my friend, always. We're gonna buff her up in case we get an uh, Alzo's double cross. Have strength, my love. You might need Carpenter in this deck. That doesn't Onward, make sense. Fryhead! Well then, let's get to work. Nice mess you've got here. Why do you use Dandelion to stagger? Northern Realms is completely bad at having units which are the same strength. Like when I pull these guys out, I'm going to have a 3-3-3-3. Three, 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 three. You know? When I pull these guys out, they're all going to be the same. So we stagger one of each. Nigh is the time of the yes, you can operate a card. They operate into your hand, yes. That's why Queensguard decks have a lot of fun mirror matches. What do you do? Everything that, right. um, This guy and stuff? What's that? Okay. There's another one. Okay, Admiral and Shea. Okay, Admiral and Shea. This is no time to whimper. Now, if we get a trio, which is scary, we still can get a trio. So we take down his highest strength unit, which would be quite high. Come to Pappy! Death to the enemy! I finished the the main storyline, yes, for The Witcher 3. I have stopped. I have finished. Uh, the main story, I mean Hearts of Stone, but it's been a long time. This is no time to whimper. I'd love to get a trio. The one in my deck is is higher than eight, so it's a nice uh, balance. We could decoy him and zap that. Your will be done, sire. Wow, I'm getting a nice, nice, getting a nice bit of buff there on that guy, aren't I? Humans have no place in Broccolon. Hmm. You'll regret your mum ever if squirted, squirted you out. out. Indeed, I will. So we'll do this guy first, and that so, guy, just pull out an 11 this strength no guy. Time to whimper. Wonder if he'll, he'll risk a scorch in that kind of sense. And then when I place that one down, the trio will activate in half that guy's strength. But he doesn't care for that, alright, sure. Now we need, um... 
I know the Sumerian action, Sumerian infantry premium is great. Right, so that's not very useful for me now. Too late. That one as well might not be too good. So which one do we get rid of? Um, we'll get rid of this. See if we get Neneke. Yeah, boy! Because <laughs> now we can still use the Quen. We use Neneke, put them back in the deck. Use Quen on the one in my hand. You know, we're good. Thank not me. Thank Melitale. That's going to keep us buff, I think. There we go. I either pass and get a bit of card, two card advantage back. And do it next turn, or I, or I force him out on this. And then we know that is more of these, don't we? For Demeria, we're gonna keep that in hand and just use her as a backup to that. I think. Otherwise, we'll resurrect Death Meld, Death Mold. Um, I'll go for two card advantage. Actually, that might be a Reavus, Reaver Hunter in his hand. I don't think he's got rid of it. Oh, look. I think this is going well. He's used that, and I don't think he's he can reuse humans. it now. What's that? Oh, that. Okay, good. Um, did you mean zero card advantage? No, I'll gain two, won't I? Because he'll place one down, and then he'll have to go first. Seven's pretty good. Hero Mets is pretty good. Alzor. Uh, is there anything else that I really want? Alzor might be good. I'll leave it as it is. You'll regret your mum ever squirted you out. There you go. So I got four of those. I got card advantage. Or is it is it considered like half a card advantage? I don't know. I've got one extra card than he has. The KVD, I hope you're watching. This is it. I don't think he can remove that 12 strength because he can't reuse Scorch. Not unless he uses uh, Shiru early. Use that. How did that get? Oh right, she buffed it. Right. He puts down another seven strength though. Yeah, but the whole point is that I defend against Igni. Igni doesn't work too well. That's why Dandelion's in it. Although you, you're not guaranteed to get Dandelion. Uh, but really, we have to start using that combo now. Unless we use Kira. But she's got no worth, I don't think. Gwen is useless. Epidemic is useless. Thunderbolt is useless. For Ooh. Nice one. Although that would have, this would have tanked it anyway. Right, so we put the 12 down, which is now a 13. What does he do with it? We actually could have quenned that 11. And that was a mistake. That was a mistake. He's gotten quite a bit, but I don't think he realizes just how much I'm going to get. You ready? We could trio one up if we wanted to. Yeah, we should have epidemic. I didn't spot it until the end. You want piece, fight for it. Right. Get that all the way out of the deck. So we've got a nine. That goes under the thirteen. No we've win got win. an eleven. That goes under the fifteen. I'm gonna half the fifteen. This is no time side. to win. And then we'll also put a fourteen there too. Don't recognize your old mates. There you go. Seventy-eight swing. Erect. 
I could have used Epidemic. It's too late now. Oh, I can use Epidemic now, actually. Because <laughs> I got fucking high strength felt the ass, man. I love it. So an Epidemic is going to be a 9. Which is pretty decent. But then Thunderbolt is worth tw uh, 12. So it's actually more worthwhile. It's Thunderbolt at the minute. So that might pull out an Alzor or something. I think pull out Death Molder I buffed. Hey. Oh, that was Triss. Nice. Well, well, impressive. Thanks. Sure. Be glad. As you command, Your Majesty. Go, nice one. Alright, nice, nice one. Now, the thing about that was he had Bren, which could have removed the Reaver, Reaver Hunter. However, we had Shani, and I don't think he could have removed it twice. So, um, we had a, like a, a little extra backup there, which is really, really nice to have, but you won't always have it.